Good evening, Lulu Mall viewers. Welcome to Lulu Readers Fest. This is Harish Bhuvan, and today's topic is clowning with family. How are you all? Yes. If if am I if I am audible, just put yes. So I know that we are good to go, and we will start the live. as soon as possible for oh, the viewers are increasing uh if you can hear me just type the comment yes and we will start hello yes waiting another 1 minute and then we will start i don't want a lot of people to miss out on what we are doing thank you for all the lovely comments which are coming in my god is it breaking how about now is it better is it better okay so we are going to start we are going to start with some common tricks and then we will get on with the live i hope children are watching this because it's for children and yeah we will let you know how to do clowning with your family uh with the help of simple simple available at home things yeah Shall we have a little music while we are about to show the trick? Uh, I am going to play music right now. One, two, three. So how was the Devil Sticks performance? I hope you all liked. If you liked, well, I have no way of knowing whether you liked it or not. I was assuming you liked it, and yeah, that's about it. Yo, people have joined. People who know me also have joined. So let me do once more. This thing, these things are known as Devil Sticks, and. Devil sticks can be easily made at your home. All is required is that you have three small sticks. It can be made from bamboo sticks, and then you may have the old tire tube. Just cover the tube in a zigzag manner. If you can see this, yes, cover it, and in the end, wrap it with a tape. wrap it with a cello tape wrap it with a insulation tape and you have three sticks like this you can have devil sticks too with your hand and once you have devil sticks you can do amazing things you want to see you want to see what we can do let's see but before that let us have some music ah Which I was in love with you, and when the witch I heard, he told me what to do. He told me, 
it, it can fall. Still doing it, it's the floor trick. you do devil six if you don't have this don't pro no worries you can make it with the help of three simple sticks and cover those simple sticks with a rubber tube and at the end put an insulation tape believe it or not these sticks I have made it at home these are nothing but uh, pipes pipes covered in tire and tube that's all and this can be made at home do not worry it's very simple you don't have to put any investment sticks that you can find and cover it with tire and tube yeah once you have it you can make it and you can practice tricks which are easier to do now let us come to the next segment of the clowning who has broom at home? I hope you have broom at home. If you have broom at home, just type a message saying yes, you have a broom at home. Do you have a broom at home? Oops. Do you have a broom at home? Hmm. Do you have a broom at home? <laughs> yeah, if you have a broom at home, then we can easily do a couple of tricks which will make your family members really, really happy. You can use broom to, to do this in which you end up cleaning the rooms but at the same time in my childhood I used to use broom and I used to make people really really happy and do you know how I did that? I did that very easily by using this broom putting it in between both the legs like this very easy putting it and just doing like this well in that I, I get reminded of a story which I will tell you it's very easy it's not that hard and we have some uh, comments coming in in which people are telling are you right out of your mind is uh, Lulu's FB hacked but a couple of people are finding it funny well today's clowning with your family episode is for those people who are sitting at home who are getting bored who think lockdown is is a way of being isolated and we don't have many much options to go out and yeah it is kind of a sad place to be in but one thing I learned is we can tell stories, we can become part of those stories and literally use things which are easily available at house and become a character in those stories. So I'm going to tell you a story about a wizard. The wizard's name is Agro. Yes. Agro is a wizard who does magic tricks. He once visited a home and he found out that parents are doing their job, children are uh, you know, craving for parents' attention, 
and agro just entered the house as a wizard and he 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 did not want to interfere but at the same time he wanted some good things for these children and agro started using household things to make these children happy yeah that is true agro became a sweeper at this house he used broom to clean the house but at the same time when children were being disrespectful to agro or to their parents agro would go there tell this is not a good way to be and he would make the broom itself a tool in which he would make people happy yeah and that is where agro comes in in all of our lives where we have to make use of day to day things at our house and make people happy around us how many of us are doing that job right now how many of us are making our parents happy our siblings happy as a matter of fact even us ourselves yeah we might be watching tv we might be watching movie but how many of us are having real time interactions with our parents with our siblings whoever is at home right now so agro made this child understand the importance of going and saying hi how are you did you eat your food simple things like that and the best part of agro is that whatever agro says we feel like listen to him you know why because agro uses three phrases which are really really magical and those phrases are please sorry and thank you agro went to the child and told will you please go and say to your mother how are you now after listening to this even the child could not uh resisted child instantly went and said i will go to my mother and ask how are you and the child just did that mother became really really emotional she said how come you are asking this all of a sudden you have never asked me how you are and today you are suddenly asked how am i and the child very innocently told agro is the one who asked me to ask you well mother went to agro said thank you and agro saved the connection between the mother and the child now agro also noticed that the mother and father were not doing a great interaction by themselves Do you know hi hi those of who all the friends who have joined in said hi to me welcome to you all yeah so i was telling a story about agro how he got into a home as a magician he he could disguise himself as a cleaner he got into the home as a cleaner and started mending relationships agro noticed that mother and father were not talking properly so agro went to the father now father was sitting on the laptop sending some mails agro said sir may i get you something the guy said no little water is fine i don't want anything else well ag- for agro he didn't have to go down get water anything agro just snapped and there was a bottle of water and he just presented it to sir in this case even i am little thirsty so i'll drink some water and one snap the bottle would disappear tada yeah agro gave water the boss drank the water and yeah but agro didn't know how to have a conversation with sir so agro just told sir i'm going to clean this room if you want to talk to me just talk to me otherwise uh, i'm going to go now and agro started cleaning the room Mm-hmm. Well, in that case, I will ask you something," said the guy. And the guy said, 
Agro, do you know where my wife is? I did not see her anywhere. Agro said, sir, your wife is playing with the, your son. And this guy got really, really surprised. They went down together and Agro showed that, yeah, indeed, the mother and the son are playing. And he was surprised. He just went up to them and said, can we also play with you guys? Uh, mother and son looked at father and they both started laughing. <laughs> After laughing, father did not understand what is happening. But the child and the mother allowed the father to play with them. Yeah, it happened. They, they played and they were playing with simple things. It would be surprising to you. They were playing with bed sheet. They were playing with pillows. Uh, the pillows, you may ask how. They were just having a pillow fight. Have you ever had a pillow fight? If, if you have not had a pillow fight, there is something in store for you. Have a pillow fight with somebody whom you love at your home right now and send a photo in the comment box. Yes, if you send a photo in the comment box, I will literally, literally show you a magic trick right now. You have two, three minutes to have a pillow fight and the most adorable pillow fight photo will avail you a magic trick right now and it involves a broom. Yes, broom magic. In the meantime, if you have any question so as to why I have makeup on my face, why I am dressed up like this, you can send your questions and I'll be very, very happy to reply to you. Hmm, no questions. Pillow fight photo in the time. Just have a pillow fight and send a very adorable photo of yours on the screen and we would decide who wins and the person who wins I will do a magic trick for them yes it will be exclusive the magic trick will be exclusive for them In the meantime, you can ask me questions, any questions so as to anything you want to ask me and I'll be really, really happy to answer that question. And yes, I want to send photo, just post it on the comment box and yes, there will be a magic trick which I'll be doing just for you. Just send a photo of pillow fight and a magic trick will follow. You can't send a photo in comments. You can. No, you can't send a photo in comments. Can you just check? If you check, you may be able to send a photo in comment. No? Hello. No questions. In the meantime, you can ask me questions. There are no questions. Okay. Yes, this is my real hair. I, I grow hair like a mountain because, uh, yeah, this is my real hair. There is no reason. Did you, did you like my real hair? Well, because, uh, yeah, I carry two sets of braids. That's why uh, my head is little big like an egg 
and yeah my real hair true story i can move it i can scratch it see okay in the meantime i will share one more story this story is very closer to me uh, it is a story i get very inspired there are no options to send a photo okay no problem uh, no issues just send it on our inbox and we will check uh, and whoever is uh, getting the most adorable pillow fight pictures we will uh, i will contact them personally and i will show them a very beautiful magic trick yes i i will well my name is harish bhuvan and i am a clown i i make people happy usually i go to hospital and make people happy that's what i do but since there is a lockdown because of corona virus it's a cap so uh yeah it's a cat but nonetheless i am going to tell you all a story which i really really loved and it is about family are you interested to listen to a story because at the end of the story i am going to do a dance which i usually do and i hope you all will join me at your respective houses and we can have a fun time yeah so this story is about four people there is father there is mother there is a sister and then there is a brother there are two children and one set of parents now father was a very very rich man mother mother was not so very rich but father and mother fell in love they got married and they were very very happily in love their love was given as an example everywhere and because of their love being so so famous they were considered as the most adorable couple ever now they had their first kid the first kid was a son and they had their second kid the second kid was a daughter now after they both grew the elder sister started going to school the younger one also started going to school sister was in 10th standard uh, the brother was in 4th standard but but they couldn't they couldn't be happy at school mother and father became really really busy in school uh, sorry in their work mother was doing n number of things to keep her happy father was just focused on making money and becoming rich again and again children were very neglected yeah children were neglected and they were not being loved now father and mother were asked to come to school by the principal do you know why well sister and the brother started fighting in the school and the principal told do you know why these children are fighting at school mother and father told no i thought you guys were supposed to keep them disciplined and father father got a call in middle of the meeting father told i have to leave now and uh, i don't have much time so father was just about to get up leave the office that's when principal told mr come back here this is about your children and you should listen to this well principal ma'am told it is because they are craving for attention you must give them attention love they are fighting in front of the whole class teachers are coming and stopping them you must give them attention father told yeah that that's been taken care by my wife their mother and they will be all right and he leaves he gets up and leaves 
mother has a breakdown in front of the school and principal she starts crying and tells i can't do this i i went home alone and i'm unable to take care of children i am also very very sad at home i don't know what to do principal tells them it's okay just love your children tell them your problems and they will understand so mother takes daughter and son back home she makes them understand that this is the condition you have to be there for each other i will be there for you and let's all three of us be there for the father now after making them understand these children became really really obedient these children became disciplined they started loving each other they started uh, listening to teachers in school but one thing they couldn't do was no the video is not froze i just froze <laughs> one thing they could you have to tell me one thing what they couldn't do and the right answer is any guesses they became disciplined they became the most amazing kids that they were they became very good with the mother they became very good with each other and they started getting nice marks in exams and they were the most amazing children ever in the school but what is the one thing that they couldn't do any guesses no guesses anyone anything any well my friends who have joined in on the live could you at least guess what is the one thing these children couldn't do they became good they became disciplined they became very nice they became scholars what couldn't they do no they were very loving to each other uh somebody wrote in the comments that one thing they couldn't do is love they started loving their siblings their mother they had amazing relationship they were really really nice children at school what is the one thing that they couldn't do hmm is interesting anybody any answers i like to keep my stories open ended leave up to the interpretations and yeah you could oh the answers are coming they couldn't make mistakes no just as we humans they were also humans they would make mistakes but they would learn from it they couldn't have fun they could have fun that is one possibility tintu Did you also told earlier how many stories do I have to tell well I have to tell couple of stories then I couldn't my friend says they couldn't fight with each other yeah that's a possibility they couldn't be happy they were they were happy because everyone started respecting them uh, they scored really really great marks so they could be happy one thing that they couldn't do is talk to their father because father never spoke to them yeah they couldn't speak to the father now for those for those who of you who recently joined i told a story i told two stories about agro and about a family yeah one of the comments by padmashri gs is that they became very good children and being always good is not easy yeah they they became that is also one possible way to look at it but yes i told that today's session we would use a broom we would use a bed sheet uh, two pillows pillows i think you already started having pillow fights yes pillows but for that whoever is watching this live as a family can have a pillow fight click a photo and send it back to us 
I will send them a video of me doing an exclusive magic trick personally. And two more things which are remaining are paper and pen. Yes. Now before me, there were a couple of people who did live on how to draw, how to tell stories. And under a clown, clown, clowning with family, I could do all of these things and do much more. Yeah. So today with paper and pen, I am planning to... So the moment I start... The moment I start drawing, you can also draw. But this paper should allow me to draw because it's not it's not staying. Do you have any idea how how to make it stay? I have a binder and all. But yeah. Yeah, now I think it's ready. Can I can I start drawing? Are you ready? Yeah? It's not staying. Do you have any idea how to make it stay? Because I have to draw something to let you know something. Yeah, I'm going to draw now. Whether or not this stays. Yeah? So. Can I draw? This is staying, right? I can draw now. Yeah, good. So take a paper, take a pen and try. This will stay now. Okay. This is going to stay. And I'm going to draw. And I'm going to give you instructions. Take a paper, take a pen. Now I get a suggestion from somebody. Hold the other side near your fingers. Yeah. Trying that. Just what? One second. Yeah. Like this? Like this? This is how she meant. Okay. Now if I'm holding it like this, I'm not able to control the pad. Now what do I do for that? Okay, I'm good to go. Trust me. This time, it's all set. Now, I'm going to draw. I took the suggestion by one of the participants who's, who have joined us on the live. And I'm going to draw now. I'm angry now. Go to your point. Yeah. Yeah. So, yes, I am going to draw now, yeah, but I like somebody whom I am going to draw. Can you see this? Yeah, there is this eyes, there is this eyes, can you see? Yeah, then there are these glasses and there is this nose. Yeah. You can draw. I can draw. I can draw. Then B. Shoulders. And hand. Yeah. Well, with paper and pen, you can scribble, you can doodle, and you can really, really have fun. Yeah, that is true. True story. Well, I think people here are thinking that drawing is not fun people who think that they can't draw also can draw because i think i couldn't draw but i did draw and yeah although i was trying to hold it for convenience the paper was falling and 
I somehow managed to keep it all right and I drew Gandhiji. Yes, that is true. He didn't have any hair. I got glasses for him and his head was bald. So I did drew Gandhiji for him. And each time I go to hospitals, I sing a song. And that song's name is Banana Song. I don't know whether some of you who have joined me in Lulu Mall before have done this banana song or dance with me but I think I'm going to do it now so whoever is watching especially clowns who are there who are watching uh, Alden is there, Terran is there, Krishna is there I would like you to join with me in doing banana song and Radhika who is joined I would like you all to do the banana song, dance with me. And Krishna, yes. Agra the cleaner, agra the master, agra the relationship builder. Thank you, Krishna. Krishna, I want you to get up from the seat. Lalatikas, get up from the seat. All then get up from the seat. Join with me in doing the banana song. Yeah. It is very, very interesting. So, all you have to do is show the journey of banana from the time you buy it, you get it to the home, you peel it, you eat it, you digest it, and the next morning take it out. Okay? Can we start? All the bananas in the world unite! Banana split is a form of ice cream. Banana split. Peel banana. Peel, peel banana. Peel banana. Peel, peel banana. Slice. Slice banana. Slice, slice banana. Slice banana. Slice, slice banana. After slicing, you must squish. Squish banana. Squish, squish banana. Squish banana. Squish, banana. squish, squish banana. After push, eat banana, eat, eat banana, eat banana, eat, eat banana. Now, after eating, you must digest it. Shake banana, shake, shake banana, shake banana, shake, shake banana. Now that it is digested, next morning, go banana, go, go banana, go banana, go, go banana. And that is banana song for you. Whoever wants to do it, please do it at home with the entire family. I'm sure you will really, really love it. After this live is ending, you will have this Vana song in the video here. Please use it, make people happy around you and you will see a huge, huge smile on their face. But again, it's a group dance. So do it with a group, I must insist. I know some of you here have done it while I was doing it. Uh, especially Alden, Mughal, Krishna, Lalantika. You people have done it while I was doing it because I know it in my heart. Yes. That's the thing. Now, I have enough time for some questions. Please ask your questions if you have any questions. Uh, any questions, I will answer it for you. No, this is not my original hair. My original hair is here. I had worn this. This is a cap. Cap by a fur. Please ask your questions. I am here. Anything that you want to ask at this time. I am also a child psychologist. Um, I did this clowning with family program so that children are occupied at home. Children uh, don't feel neglected. Children take advantage of this isolation totally. Tell stories with each other. Have really, really good time with the family. Uh, I see the time of uh, online thing is coming to an end. But I, I have made some time out for questions. Yes, so see, Mughal has started doing banana dance with his Amma. Uh, it's a great, great thing to 
uh, here watch see it uh, i'm not sure how many of you enjoyed today's performance couple of you got really really irritated and frustrated but that's how clowning is clowning uh, in clowning we make mistakes but our mistakes are our biggest strengths we convert our mistake into uh, an act to be very honest i was just going to start drawing on the board but then the paper fell the first time was an honest mistake but i realized because there is a person sitting right here who saw the paper falling and that person started smiling so i told uh, you know let me make this a funny thing and that's how it became an act yep uh, what's the best part about staying home the best part about staying home is that i am rejuvenating myself i am becoming a better person uh, i am getting to spend more time with my mother i am getting to spend more time with my nephew my nephew is just 2 years old and he's this tall uh, he is developing his language linguistic skills so he makes up some new words with which we have fun uh, my father is there my mother is there we are having a good time we interact yep my brother in law my sister we are having a really really nice time and of course having great time with my wife at home yeah these are the things that i do padma shri gs thank you thank you so much for accepting me uh, well i i i tried to do a good time uh, i'm i'm much better to be very very honest i'm much better if i'm live physically doing clowning for you for your children i have done uh, clowning uh, doing balloon dance doing devil stick tricks for lulu mall for past 2 years i've i've been coming to lulu mall uh, taking my time out and spending time with them next time krishna yes next time you can clown with us we will be opening up so something like what you saw today we will be opening up clowning uh, in online wherein people from their respective homes could join uh, like this and they could do what they whatever they want to do along with them there will be many more clowns who would be this who would be doing same activity as they are doing for children and that will be displayed in the hospital yeah so yes you could clown with us naresh babu bujelda thank you thank you so much for enjoying the clowning i wish we could uh, do more and yes uh, i was being honest saying that uh, i'm much better in person from past past two years i've been coming to lulu mall and doing this this year because of corona virus i couldn't come and do this live at lulu mall but nonetheless joining uh, with all the lulu mall reader fest fa uh, fans uh, over computer here i got couple of questions what more can we do as clowning with our families well the first thing about clowning that i have known is having conversation with your family knowing what they like and talking about that topic with them brings them joy clowning is not about uh, not always about doing yeah <laughs> it is not always about that it is about feeling joy from heart it is not always about doing something for the sake of doing it is sometimes just spending time with them being being making yourself available to them making them know that yes you are there for them krishna the most powerful message for all the lovely children in the world well children are our tomorrow so stay empowered uh, ask questions yes i as a child would ask a lot of questions that would irritate my teachers uh, everyone around me and i had told one of my best friends that some something some day i don't know what i want to do something different my friends still laughed at me but today see i'm doing something different i became a clown it was only because i was asking questions so uh, i reached here uh anamika bhanor my kid is asking can you do bar dance once again of course we will do bar dance once again 
but uh, Anani Anamika Banot, I have a request. You also have to do it along with your kid. Uh, Krishna, Laladika, Tered, Kiran, Tirupati, Alden, Rosi Shibu, Eileen, Tangachan, everybody, please join with us, whoever is online. Please join with us in doing Banana Dance once again because this is a very beautiful song. So, all the bananas in the world unite. Unite is simple, very simple. All the bananas in the world unite. Uh, banana split. After splitting, you just peel it. Peel banana. Peel, peel banana. Peel banana. Peel, peel banana. Slice banana, slice, slice banana, slice banana, slice, slice banana, squish banana, squish, squish banana, squish banana, squish, squish banana, eat banana, eat banana, eat banana, eat banana, eat banana, shake banana, shake, shake banana, shake banana, shake, shake banana, go banana, go, go banana, go banana. And for those who know Hindi, this is a special life added by a very dear friend. Life me kisi ko bhi mat banana. So that's banana song for you. I have one more song, which after becoming a clown, I had made. If anybody wants to do that one more song, I would do that song for you. But. For that we require balloons. I don't have balloons right now because of the lockdown. Otherwise I always carry balloons with me. Uh, the song is about balloons. I can sing it for you because I always use balloons as a property. I make dogs out of them, giraffes out of them and I give it to the children who have come to see a uh, performance. Well, in this case, I'll just sing a song for all the children in the world. And the song goes like this. We have red balloons, blue balloons, green balloons and yellow ones. We take them out, blow them up, so we can have some fun. We make a doggy, a giraffe, a poodle and a clown. We share our love, our joy with you. And... Everything is better in now. We have red balloons, blue balloons, green balloons and yellow ones. We take them out, blow them up and we can have some fun. We make a doggy, a giraffe, a poodle and a swan. We share our love and joy with you and everything else is fun. Yeah. I have one more song. Uh, I don't know all the children if they like fruit salad or not. The song's name is Fruit Salad, so uh, this is very simple. If you can, please do do it with us. The Fruit Salad song is very, very simple. The Fruit Salad song goes like this. Hmm. I love apple. You have to sing with me. I love apple, papaya, papaya, banana, 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 fruit salad, fruit salad. I love orange, I love orange, watermelon, chiku, chiku, chiku. Chiku 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 Fruit salad I love kiwi Musk melon Strawberry 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 Fruit salad So it keeps going on It keeps going And We can keep making songs And we will never know When to end it but yes, oh, great. We have started receiving our pillow fights scenes. Trust me, people have started pillow fighting and it is very impactful. 
In fact, I have a pillow here, and it is going to come to my hand. So, so those who have, you know, send the pillow fights. I'm going to send a better magic trick to you. But this pillow, just with my command, my power, and abra pillow kedabra, say it will just come to me. It will just hit me. Now, I didn't know it would do just that right then. But, yeah, there you go. Pillow fight. For those who've been doing pillow fight at home, uh, my magic just did a pillow fight with me. And it was good. It was good. Yeah. So, any more questions? Any more questions? No more questions? I'm... <laughs> I I have been hit with a pillow. I don't know when the next pillow is going to land at me. So before that happens, if you have any questions, you could uh, ask any questions, and we would just love if you ask any questions. Uh, but yes, do not forget to have pillow fight uh, at home with your pillow fights with your loved ones. I've, I've been attacked and attacked again and again with pillow so yeah I, I'm going to hold on to these pillows so that no more attack comes to me but in the meantime you tell me how is your pillow fight going at home and I think on that note I should end it otherwise things will will just you know keep falling at me and yeah thank you Anamika Bano uh, yeah thank you so much and I don't know a lot of things are being thrown at me uh, but at the same time you, you you can you can become a different person also with a bed sheet you can become a ghost and you can you can put that uh, with a really old bed sheet you can become a real real old ghost uh, by just cutting across uh, and you know putting it your neck so that you'll be like a ghost look what there is a ghost there is a ghost <laughs> do you see it? <laughs> this ghost uh, this ghost has been throwing pillows at me like it's so pillow <laughs> Yeah, so it's all about having fun. Stay tuned. Keep having fun. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, session about clowning with family. Uh, yeah, thank you so much. And I hope you keep coming to Lulu Ball. Tomorrow we have one more amazing thing. But I hope you join for that. But yes, have pillow fights. Uh, become a ghost. Like a ghost was just... <laughs> Going about, yeah, and the ghost keeps throwing pillows at me. Again. <laughs> but now I'm not getting angry. It is fun having a pillow fight. Thank you so much. Uh, in future, please <laughs> join, join us for any sort of fun like this. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, if you have any more questions, I do have two minutes. Please ask. Yeah, so you, you, can, you can still play ghost game like how we used to play ghost games like switch off all the lights in the night and wear a bed sheet uh, carry a pillow at your head and just sneak up on on family members and shoo, shoo, and shoo. <laughs> it is fun yeah keep a dark room but beware of those cockroaches because in darkness there are cockroaches yes so please be careful about the cockroaches and have fun. I don't know why I'm saying cockroaches. It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope we conclude our clouding session with that. We have more songs. Reach out to us for doing more songs. And it will be fun. But at the time of corona coronavirus, I cannot leave without uh, giving you a very important, important message. 
and that is wear mask keep a safe distance between others uh, i mean outside home if you are ever going cough into the elbow <coughs> or sneeze into the elbow <coughs> and most important thing wash your hands for minimum 1 minute but that does not mean you keep the tap open for 1 minute take water apply soap keep washing open tap uh, wash it off open tap close tap yeah yeah wash it and if you go out ever wear a mask wear a glove and have fun okay stay home stay safe guys and have a happy happy time this lockdown is also a blessing in disguise thank you so much namaste now before going i this is how we started the clowning session this is how we must end it i will do moon walk for you bye bye i don't know how to stop this thing <laughs>